And the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull. became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. I'd say your new training equipment is a success, Duncan. What's left of it, you mean? We can pick up the pieces later. Right now, Prince Adam is going to be late for dinner unless I hurry. Well, I'll see you there. Good evening, ladies and lords. I'd hope there'd be a full house tonight. But no matter, Orko the Great will entertain you all with a dazzling display of amazing magic. Hey, that's not supposed to happen. It'd really be amazing if he ever learns how to work that silly wand. <laughs> Father. I heard that, man-at-arms. You better have some respect for my magic or I'll... I'll... Oh, just watch this. Now the tricky part. I must have absolute silence. I must concentrate. Concentrate. <laughs> Bravo. Greetings, Mother. Father, sorry I'm late. Perfect timing as usual, Prince Adam. Sorry, Orko. You could at least make an effort to get here on time. Sorry, Tila, but you know how time flies when you're, uh, <laughs> having fun. That's the trouble. You're always having fun. Really, son, such conduct is not worthy of a future king. I think Adam inherited from me what we Earthlings call a sense of humor. Well, he'll need more than that if he wants to rule someday. I'll be ready, Father, but not for a long, long time, I hope. Oh, very well, son. On with the magic, Orko. Now you're talking, Your Majesty. Behold, demon dust, the very thing to conjure up a fearful creature from beyond. Yeah, lucky for us, the biggest thing he's ever conjured up was a rabbit. Now, by the powers of wizard and elf, I command you, demon, show yourself. Look, the spell is working. It is? Hey, it is! That's no demon. You can say that again. Forgive my sudden arrival, your highnesses. I am Magestra, a traveling magician. I have come hoping to entertain you all with my wondrous illusions. Welcome, Magestra. I'm sure we'd all love to see your illusions. However, we already have a court magician. 
But father, I don't think Orko would mind sharing the stage with one as talented and as fair as Magestra. What? My thanks, little one. Here, for you. Show off. Proceed, Magestra. Let us have music, then. Harmonies pleasing to kingly ears. <laughs> Big deal. And now, your majesties, the most mystifying spell of all. Behold, the cabinet of wonders. To all outside appearances, an ordinary box. But inside. Just what is inside? Ah, see for yourself, sire. Very well. Now what? Spirits of magic from far and near. Make his majesty disappear! What evil wizardry is this? But wait! Your king is unharmed. Here he is. That's some trick. Well, magic has certainly sharpened your appetite. Your Highness. Hmm. Oh, oh, well done, Magestra. Yes, very entertaining. I invite you to stay with us a while longer, my dear. You're too kind, sire. Come, I'll have the guards show you to your room. Nicely done, fool. You nearly ruined everything. You worry too much. No one suspects us. There's something funny going on here, and I'm going to find out what it is. <laughs> Your Highness, and greet your guests. Oh, well, last thing I remember, I was in the banquet hall. What? It's impossible. It's me. You're no simple magician. Who are you? I see the time for deception has ended. Evil Lynn! Beastman! You fiends dare to come to Palace Eternia itself? I dare anything, Your Highness. Now that I wield the Shaping Staff, this legendary wand can transform any matter in the universe. But the Shaping Staff is just a myth, a fairy tale. It was just a myth. Until Beastman and I found it in a hidden cave near the Crystal Sea. Soon, I will hand it over to my master, Skeletor. But first, I decided to test the wand here on you. Let you, who were once king of Eternia, now be king of goats! <laughs> now, with you posing as the real king, Beastman, Skeletor will rule Eternia through you! <laughs> uh -oh. Get him! We can't let him tell the others! <laughs> Stop him! I'm, I'm trying, but he jumps around like a blasted cricket. Ah, then a cricket? He shall be! Prince Adam! Prince Adam! That takes care of him. Behold, Skeletor. The shaping staff as I promised. <laughs> well done, Evelyn. Now we begin phase two. Tomorrow, Beastman and I, in disguise, will lead the forces of Eternia to Grayskull. There I will hand over the shaping staff to you. And then... Then we shall defeat the forces of Eternia in one fell swoop. <laughs> Be careful now. You must make Prince Adam believe that you are his father. You worry too much. You sent for us, sire. Yes, Adam? I've been speaking with Magestra about the old castle in the forest. It's time we made Grayskull a part of our kingdom. But why, father? What use could Grayskull be to us? If you've no taste for conquest, you can stay behind. 
Men at arms, ready the troops. We march tomorrow. Yes, sire. But why this sudden interest in the castle? I mean, surely there are more important... You're a fine one to talk of importance, Adam. You with your lazy ways. Come, Magistra, we have much to do. It's not like my father to ever consider attacking Grayskull. He's always been a man of peace. Maybe I can reason with him in the morning. He's getting suspicious. Leave him to me. After tonight, we won't have to worry about Prince Adam. Who's there? Oh, <laughs> Adam? <laughs> are, are you asleep yet? Cringer, what do you want at this time of night? Well, uh, um, it, it does get rather drafty sleeping outside, you know, to, 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 to say nothing of, um... Scary, huh? All right, come on in, old cat. Now what? A cricket. Uh, Adam, it's me! Orko! The king is a fake! It's Beast Man with evil in it! Please, please help! If he's a fake, where's my father? Don't worry, Orko. We'll help you and rescue my father. Let's go, Cringer. Oh, do we have to? Do you want me to go alone? Y you sure you w want me to answer that? By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> I hate this part. Good evening, Prince. He-Man! Evil Lynn and Beast Man. So, Adam's fears were right. Yes, my enemy. But you'll not stop us! My sword can deflect magical bolts, Evelyn. Or didn't you know that? Beastman, help me! <laughs> Father, that noise! I know. It came from Adam's room. I can't see. Get back before she reaches that staff. I already have it, fool. Ah, oh, I can see again. And though you can deflect the staff's magic, your friends cannot. Tila. Surrender, He-Man, or Tila will remain a little frog forever. And now, for you. First, free Tila from your spell. No! She will join the others in my menagerie. Don't you recognize them, He-Man? It's a former king of Eternia and his court clown. Release them, you evil witch, or I'll... You'll do nothing except change. There, a handsome golden present for Skeletor. Gotcha! Bah! You two are not worth bothering about! To Grayskull! I will make another He-Man, an evil one called Faker! <laughs> A perfect likeness of He-Man. Sometimes my power even amazes me. Baker, you must get the sorceress to leave Grayskull. Outside the castle, her magic is weaker, and I can overpower her. In this dim light, she'll think you're He-Man. Call her, Baker. Yes, Master. Sorceress? Sorceress, please hear me. He-Man. 
What brings you here at this hour? I've been hurt. There's something wrong. Your voice sounds different, E-Man. That's because I was ambushed by Skeletor. I... I can't think clearly. Stay there. I'll come to you. Where are you? Right here, sorceress. Ivalin! You should not have left your castle. Here, my power is as strong as yours. Now that you're here, perhaps you'd like a taste of the shaping staff. Remain rooted to that spot forever, sorceress, as a harmless tree. No! No! Very good, Evelyn. I could have taken care of her myself, of course, but this fate is more fitting. Soon, Man-at-Arms will lead his troops here to rescue He-Man and his friends. Let them come. I'll face them with the combined powers of the Shaping Staff and Castle Grayskull. Sorceress, even in this transformed state, I can still sense your thoughts. Use your magic to break the spell. I... I can't. Evelyn's power, too strong, can't resist. You've got to try. For all our sakes. Yes, must try, must break the spell. Quick, Skeletor, the wand! We don't need a wand, not with Faker here. Forget him, uh, E-Man. I have your power, too. Let's see how well you can use that power. Uh. How do you like that, hero? I don't like it, Faker, and I like you even less. Uh. It's a long way down, He-Man. Need a hand? In this case, a leg will do just fine. Wait, stop. With this staff, I can rescue Faker from the bottomless gorge. But first, you and I have some unfinished business. Skeletor, the only way to break your evil spell is like this. Thanks, He-Man. Come on, let's get out of here. No, the staff is still strong enough to stop them. <laughs> Fools! With one wave of this wand, I'll turn you all into... That'll teach you to fool around with magic. Curse you all! Once I've restored Eva Lynn and Faker, I'll be back to have vengeance. So swears Skeletor. Well, it's good to be back on the throne. It's good to have you back, Father. And, and, and it's good to, to have you back, little buddy. Thanks, Cringe. You know, I don't think I'd like to be a cricket, but I sure wish I knew how to do that trick. Adam, it's too bad you weren't around. We certainly could have used some help. Thank goodness He-Man showed up. 
funny. He's always there when we need him. Boy, I hope I can meet him someday. I'd really like to thank him for helping us out and for bringing my father back. Thank you, son. And now I think we all deserve some fun. Orko, let's have some magic. Your wish is my command. Now for my first trick. For, for my first trick, I'm going to disappear. <laughs> In today's story, you saw what happened when a stranger came to the palace. She turned out to be evil and dangerous. Of course, turning people into animals is only make-believe, but there is nothing make-believe about how dangerous some strangers can be in real life. Never accept any food or toys or money from a stranger. Don't even talk to them, and no matter what a stranger may say, never go away with them. Terrible things have happened to some kids who did. The smart thing is to just walk away, or in my case, just float away. <laughs>